Everybody A Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Today we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Joseph now ready to get this one started and we are underway from Minneapolis and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. This one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Five yards on first down, but now just a one yard pickup there on second. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, McCaffrey. There he goes, right side. Christian McCaffrey, 53 yards. And the Niners are on the board first here this afternoon. On paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So look at this. They got the 7-0 lead in the pocket, and they're going to try an onside kick. And this is going to be 49er football. Well, they just scored. They got the lead, and they decide to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. 83 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Two yards to go, second down. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey, and he'll go down at the 28. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Hey! 
McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Third and eight. Purdy off the play fake. Brandon Ayuk, 26 yards. And the Niners lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Moody good with the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried, they just didn't get it done. Well, they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 all said and done. On play action, Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it second and seven. to throw it. Completes this to Addison out left. Third down and one. Here's Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Vikings have got it back to within a score. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Cousins will try and throw. On the move to his left. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. 
And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Here's second and ten. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Third down and ten. Now Purdy. Able to find the open man. That's complete. A big third down play there for the Niners. 41 yards. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll take this one down to the 36. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short at first at the 32. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. This one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And throwing here, Purdy. Flushed out right. Oh, Cardinals sin there, thrown back over the middle, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the front six-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Following the interception, Cousins. Making the catch, this is the tight end, Oliver. Touchdown, Vikings! Josh Oliver, 36 yards! And the Vikings get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Yeah, touchdown. I love it. Now it's only a two-point game. I know it's the first half, but you got to think. Go for two. Tie it up. Going to the locker room. What are you doing? Come on. You're bold. You're bold. It's real easy to be bold sitting up here yeah, rather is, than right? down we, there and making that decision. We don't have to make those decisions. Either way, a little time left on the clock here in the second quarter. We'll see how this all plays out. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Go, 
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Birdie. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And the Vikings will take over possession here up at the 34. So glad to see any quarterback talk back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. It's a personal, just so it's a game plan. I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Cousins now to throw on first down. Oliver, the tight end, making the catch. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. To throw, Cousins. And that'll be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now a second and ten. Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Osborne. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. To throw is Cousins. That's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. But let's face it, a better win for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they're going to continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series.